Roller Coaster Factory. I'm not even sure how many people know about this one. It doesn't even have its own Wikipedia entry. And this isn't even the most embarrassing CD that I own. Yeah, I still have this. I don't know. I guess I just saw a commercial and asked for it as a kid. But anyways, I don't recall asking for this, though. It was probably a Christmas or birthday gift, but... What the hell is it? A bad ripoff of Roller Coaster Tycoon? Well, as far as I can tell, that's exactly what this is. And when I say a bad ripoff, I mean really bad. As in the most minimal effort you could put into a game that could still technically qualify as being a functional computer program. Well, alright then, let's get started. Now, one of the few good things I can say about this game, and maybe it's the only good thing, is that when you try to open it, it just loads right into the game instantly. No title screens, main menu, anything else. Actually, I guess you're looking at the main menu right now, and even though you have options, there's no way that I know of to change the video mode resolution. You could either build your track out of steel or wood. Each gives you different track pieces to work with. And there are paths everywhere. But there's no rhyme or reason as to why they're laid out this way. It would make sense if there were other structures erected in each partitioned area of grass, but there are no side attractions available to flesh out the amusement park. You have to pay just to ride one roller coaster, and that's it. But okay, enough with the boring exposition. I'll make a few tracks, I guess. Yeah, this looks cool. I guess. So, there's two buttons here, the check mark and the go button. Now, when you finish building, you have to click the check mark button first, just to do a test drive. And only after a successful test can you ride it for real. So, what's the difference? Well, during the real ride, the camera is in one of the seats to simulate what it would look like actually riding it. But the test run? No. The game teases you with a first-person viewpoint for just a second, but then the camera has to circle around the cars over and over again, and it never stops. Seriously, it will even go through the walls repeatedly. Alright, this is gonna be good. Oh, how did it fall off? What the hell? And other track pieces are falling over too. Okay, hold on. I need a replay here. So we're moving along, and the cars just come to a dead stop, and then they fall through the track and drag the whole loop with them, making the loop fall through the ground, and then a chain reaction follows where other parts of the ride, like the big hill over in the distance, fall over in segments off to the side. You can even see the track sticking through the ground texture, and different parts of the track will even collapse out of order. Okay, I figured it out. Only certain pieces pull the carts upwards, and the piece I tried to use last time was only meant to let you coast downwards on momentum. But there's no indicator in the building menu to tell you which pieces can pull you and which pieces will wreck the whole test run if you use them incorrectly. You have nothing to rely on other than trial and error. And then you have to remember which piece is acceptable to use in certain situations. Although I suppose that isn't too hard, since there's a limited variety of track pieces to select from in the first place. Okay, here we go. You'll probably feel more sick following the camera than actually riding anything you can build in this game. Yeah, there it goes, showing nothing other than a stunning lack of people waiting in line to ride this death trap. God, it's so awful how the camera just goes through the wall like that. It's like it knows it's bad, and it's trying to shove that fact in your face as if it's funny. But okay, at least we're making progress and going up now. Yeah, pretty high up. This is gonna be sweet. Here we go. Nice, we hit 45 miles an hour. It's pretty good, I suppose. A strong s You just went through a tree! Okay, well, if it doesn't kill us, but... I mean, really? Oh, okay, whatever. We'll just try going down in a few incremental small drops in a row instead. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, you... What happened now? You gotta be... Oh, okay. Okay, so going through trees can't kill us, but the game takes into account momentum and centrifugal force when going into a corner that's too sharp for that kind of speed? Are you kidding? 
And how hard is it for the game to delete a tree when you have a piece of track go through it? All you would need is a cuboid detection box to go from the base of the tree to the top of the leaves, and it should just disappear if the track touches that imaginary box. Oh, and let's not forget the fact that the carts fell off individually. In fact, even though they're supposed to be connected together, the first three were launched like rockets, yet the fourth one not only stayed on the track, it didn't even seem to lose any momentum. And by the way, it took me a while to figure out how to delete a piece of track, but you have to know to hit the delete button on the keyboard. I guess that makes sense in retrospect, and for all I know that was a more common way of undoing things back in the day, but there's nothing indicating that that's how you do it. At least it lets you click segments in the middle of the track so you don't have to delete your way backwards to reach the bad area. Believe it or not, you can actually do a test run even if the track is obviously incomplete. I guess you want to be able to test individual sections as you go along, although you always have to sit through the preceding portions first, so you're screwed if the bit you're testing is so far down the track that you have to repeatedly sit through two minutes of the same part of the ride again just to reach it. I'd use different save files in that case. There's another bit of track up ahead here to let you rapidly go down in increments. You'll probably bounce up and down in the seat and crush your balls though, that's never fun. Here we go. Nice, although I think it launched us off the track faster than we approached it, so it added speed once the carts were airborne. Now this right here is a true masterpiece, and it has the added benefit of anyone being able to ride it, even if they're pregnant or have some sort of physical disability. Ugh. That's weird. Nobody's lining up to ride this one either. This stupid camera still sends you through the walls. The camera is actually moving faster than the roller coaster itself. Uh, sadly, we're coming to the end of the most exciting roller coaster ride ever. What? No. 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 God, you stupid piece of. How does something like that fail? Is it impossible to build a working track in this game? Though, wait, no. Apparently, a working track is possible. If the roller coaster goes clockwise instead of counterclockwise. I'm not even kidding, look. It clears the U-turn perfectly fine, and I, and I tested this with wood tracks too, where it also falls apart going counterclockwise, but works fine on a clockwise track. And then it just rolls in and stops. Yeah. Wait, how do you get 600 thrill level points? Why not zero? Or just one or five, I don't know, but is 600 the lowest you can go? My top speed was only about five miles an hour. Okay, I tried this one already and I know it works. Like I said earlier, whether you're working with steel or wood, each one gives you unique pieces to work with. And steel gives you loops. You can actually get enough speed to go through four loops in a row. One... Two... Three... Oh, nice. Thanks for blocking the shot yet again, camera. I, I can't believe this has to rotate around the roller coaster all the time during test mode. Why can't it just have some other sort of... I don't, I don't even know. Anything else, practically. Oh, that one nearly came to a halt. Yeah... Some good track. I tested this earlier! How does one... a middle one... No, I did test it earlier. It's still going, though. Is it actually gonna finish and give me a successful test run message? I don't believe this game. How many glitches are in this software title? But still, I did test this earlier. See? Right there. It does actually work. The game just has inconsistent laws of physics or something. In fact, remember the second track where the sharp corner ejected three out of four cars? I'd actually done it a second time, and in that case, all four cars were thrown off the track during that second test run. 
Also, I realized that I probably should have used a higher bitrate to record this, but it's not like this game deserves it. There aren't any spectacular graphics to show off in this game, it's just a bunch of dull polygons. In fact, this game wouldn't run on 64-bit Windows 7. I think it used a 16-bit installer file, so I had to install this game in a Windows XP virtual machine, but MSI Afterburner wouldn't save the video in an H.264 codec on that operating system, so I just I had to screen record my entire desktop showing the game running in a virtual machine and then crop it. God. <sighs> but it wouldn't record the desktop with VirtualBox running, so I had to close out of it, then start recording the desktop, then boot VirtualBox back up. You wouldn't believe some of the weird things I have to do on the technical side to make these videos. Now, I guess if the game were polished up a bit, it wouldn't be too awful for what little bit it offered, but it would still just be sorely lacking in the quantity of content and replayability that it can provide. Yeah, just stick with regular Roller Coaster Tycoon, a, a game that surprisingly came out a year before this obvious knockoff did. The original Tycoon game came out in 1999, and the CD for Roller Coaster Factory says copyright 2000 on it. And the latter is what I played as a kid.